I bet at first glance you wouldn't think this is a mold disaster, but behind that fireplace, it is. But we're about to do a full DIY remediation because we don't want to end up like these guys. This will be the most educational series we've ever done because mold is an important subject. So here's the long story short. We found out a few months ago we had mold behind our fireplace and decided to hire some remediators. After having to fire three of them because they're basically all scammers and they were just trying to come in with bleach and not do any of the proper remediation, we knew that we could do it better ourselves and that's what we're doing. Oh yeah, and we were quoted almost $5,000 for them to not even remove the drywall. So let's start with containment. This is one of the most important parts of any kind of mold remediation because obviously you don't want to expose the rest of your house to it. Having a completely airtight, sealed environment is very important, so I started by putting up 4mm plastic on both sides of the containment zone. I then learned that 6mm is actually the proper and more effective plastic to be using to contain off mold zones, so I ended up doing both. Because why not just be extra safe? But if you're doing it yourself, make sure to use six. The goal is to make a tight seal that absolutely no airflow can come from. So you want to tape every inch of the edge. Because the area I'm working in goes all the way up to the attic, I wanted to put some plastic up top to prevent a little bit of the airflow from leaking out, but it wasn't going to be airtight because it was hard to seal it on the insulation. Now remember, we were about to pay $5,000 for someone to do it the wrong way. So it was important we did it the right way and that took a bit of an investment. These two air scrubbers cost about $1,100 for both. You can also rent them, but it's about $200 a day for one and it just seemed cheaper to buy. We also spent about $500 on that HEPA vac and another $500 on all the additional PPE and equipment we needed. So in total, it was about $2,000 and we had this amazing negative airflow because of the HEPA vacs going out the window. We went to a place called PCS in Tulsa, which has more affordable cleaning supplies and PPE. They had tons of options for killing mold, but the most effective and the best one we had heard of was Decon 30 by Benefect. Because mold is so toxic to your health, it's very important you're wearing proper PPE. I'm wearing head-to-toe Tyvek and a respirator that covers my face as well. This will also protect my eyes from getting dust and mold in them as well. Make sure to follow as we DIY this entire remediation and teach you everything we learn.